Good morning. This is Bill Topping. I'm at Drisdale Field. We've got more Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. The Saints and the Pacers today. Francis Marion and Flagler. Both these teams won yesterday in the first day of the tournament. This is pool play. So you'll have one more game for each of these teams. Uh, the Flagler game, the next game for Flagler is at 5 o'clock tonight. As I said, they're each 1 and 0 oh in the tournament. I have the batting order for the Aiken Pacers, USC Aiken. I'll refer to them as either the Pacers or Aiken. Leading off is Jackson Hannon. He is a freshman left fielder. The shortstop, a senior, Chandler Rogers. The catcher, sophomore Luke Lessingring. Batting fourth is the DH, Connor Durden. Batting fifth is the center fielder, Joey Smithers. He is a senior. Sophomore Trey Palowski, the third baseman, will bat sixth. Batting seventh is the second baseman, Philip Watcher. He is a senior. Batting eighth is the first baseman, junior Alex Mills. And in the nine slot, the right fielder, sophomore Sean McMillan. Zach Refuse is the pitcher for the Pacers, and I'll give you his numbers when he gets on the mound. Defensively, the Saints are positioned accordingly. Aaron Anderson is the first baseman. Elliot Schubert is at second. Frankie Martello is the third baseman. Steven DePuglia is the shortstop. In the outfield from left to right, Sean Lawler, Dylan Reed, and Connor Laspina. Jason Moore is behind the plate and the pitcher today. The starting pitcher for Flagler at 30 and 21 overall is Blair Calvo. He is two and three. This will be just his 12th start of the season, his 13th appearance. He's pitched 43 and two-thirds innings. He's allowed 50 hits. He's allowed 23 earned runs, striking out 47, walking 12, average against 282. Strikeout to walk ratio, very good for Blair Calvo. First pitch swinging fouled off by Jason Hannon, and it's 10.06. So that's the official game time. John Jordan, SID for Flagler, sitting to my right. I'm sure you'll hear him during the game. Yeah, right. I was thinking of wearing a mask today, or giving you one. I'm not sure which. John's been fighting off a cold slash allergy slash who knows what. But he's powering through. He's got four games today, and I'll do two of them. There's a pitch that bounces off the carpet. The infield here is carpet. And I guess it extends maybe three or four feet behind what you see out there is the brown infield area. The outfield is grass. 400 to straightaway center. 325 down the line. This is a big park. That pitch is high. And the count of two balls and two strikes. Hannon is batting 284. Pops this one up and out of play. Jackson Hannon is a freshman from Lexington, South Carolina. Puts this one in play and it goes right through the middle for a base hit. Lead off single for Hannon. That'll bring up Chandler Rogers, the shortstop. Rogers, a senior from Commerce, Georgia. A team high 361 batting average for Chandler. Luke Lesson Ring on deck. Calvo's pitch is low. Saints got a complete game from their starter, Robert Gurgis, last night. Exciting game as it went down to the ninth inning where the Saints scored two to win it. That's a fly ball. It's going to drop into right center field for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles. And the Pacers have a runner in scoring position. Now bad, catcher number 16, Luke Leisenring. The catcher, Luke Leisenring, sophomore. Batting 294 from Golden, Colorado. Isn't that where they make Coors? 
Coors Beer? I, I Just a side note, I don't know why I would know that. At my age, I know a lot of things. I don't know why I know them. Fastball, Steve Reich. Connor Dirt in the DH on deck, batting in the cleanup spot. Pitch called a strike, and it's 0-2. Calvo working from the stretch. Checks the runner at second and delivers high and outside. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Off-speed pitch, struck him out. That'll bring up Connor Durden. Connor, a senior, batting 316. Throw back to second. Connor from Jacksonville, about 25 miles north of here. That ball is a single into left field, what that is. And the runner gets held at third. So Hannon now at third base, Rogers at second, and Durden at first. Three singles. Now the center fielder number nine, Joey Smithers. That'll bring up the number five hitter, Joey Smithers. Joey the center fielder. Batting 287. Joey is from Aiken, South Carolina. Didn't have to go that far to go to college. He went to South Aiken High School. First pitch, strike one. Go one pitch is high and inside, so the count even at one ball to one strike. Got some umbrellas up, got a few tents up. This is a sunburn day. The uh, sunburn index was nuclear it's this morning on the broadcast. We're going to burn some folks up out there. Hopefully everybody's prepared for that. That pitch is high and it's two balls and a strike. A lot of places out west, you, they've got these mister things when you go to businesses or down parks like this, you run through a mister, kind of cools you off. I was thinking of coming up one where they shot sunscreen on you. 2 1 pitch is fouled off first base side. There is some difficulty with that, the in the eyes thing, and I don't think that's probably not good. We could like a hood you put over your head. Yeah, that's true. That wouldn't work either. You get the face burned. Thanks, Brandon, for pointing that out. I'm going to work on it, though. We'll see what I can come up with. Two balls and two strikes. That is a slow roller toward third. Let it go and foul. Martello does exactly that. Everybody's going to go back where they started. Smithers will pick up his bat. He was already around first. He was heading for second. Trey Pulowski on deck. From the stretch, the 2-2 pitch. Low and away, full count.
There's also a pool play tournament going over at Palatka at St. John's River State College. 3-2 pitches right back up the middle. A base hit. That may score two. It does score one. Hannon scores. Rogers coming around third. He also scores, and it's 2-0 Pacers. That was a hard hit ball. Durden held it second, Smithers at first. 4 singles and a strikeout so far for the Pacers and they've scored two runs. And Jeff Pelkey goes out to talk to his pitcher, Jeff Pelkey, the pitching coach for the Saints. Home plate umpire actually signaled that it was the first visit. We do, a lot of times we don't get anything from the home plate umpire during a game. <laughs> Only occasionally he shows us what the call is, what the count is, excuse me. Good job by him. Maybe they've upgraded a bit, you know, for the tournament. Could happen. Foul ball, first base side. There's one out. Runners at first and second. 2 nothing Aiken here in the top of the first. Trey Pulowski on at the plate, excuse me. Sophomore third baseman. Batting 255. He is also from Aiken, South Carolina. Went to Tallahassee Community College up here. Tallahassee, Florida. I think that's the only Tallahassee in the country now that I think about it. And he strikes out for out number two. Now back to second baseman number one, Philip Watcher. Philip Watcher, senior second baseman, batting in the seventh slot today. Steps into the left-hand batter's box. Watcher batting 270. He is from Sumter, South Carolina, but he's Transferred to Aiken from the Citadel in Charleston. The 1 0 pitch called strike. Alex Mills on deck. Two down, two on. The 1 1 pitch is outside. <coughs> We're in the top of the first. Big cut on a fastball down and away, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two on, two out. Two two count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's going to have to throw him out. No, he didn't because first base is occupied. Never mind. Side is retired, but two runs score here in the top of the first. Four singles did the job, and the Pacers are out in front. Bottom of the first coming up. This is Peach Bell Conference Tournament Baseball.
Bottom of the first inning, it's 2-0 Pacers as they were able to put four singles up and score two runs in the top of the first. Dylan Reed will lead it off for the Saints. Senior center fielder batting 274. Dylan is from Jacksonville, Florida. The largest city by area in the country. Santa Fe College transfer, base hit. He won the game last night with a walk-off single. And he starts this one off with a single. And that'll bring up Aaron Anderson. Now that the first baseman number nine, Aaron Anderson. That brings up Aaron Anderson, a sophomore first baseman. Aaron is from St. John's, Florida, which is a suburb, <laughs> loosely speaking, of uh, St. Augustine. And Jacksonville, and yes, and well, not Palatka, it's across the river from Palatka. Anyway, it's right up the road. That pitch is low. One up pitch as Reed breaks for second. The throw is a one hopper. He's safe. And a stolen base for Dylan Reed. He's in scoring position. The pitcher. Zach refuse. Now working from the stretch with Reed at second. That pitch is outside. Zach has a 390 ERA and an 8-0 record. This is his 15th start of the season. 2-1 pitch. Low and inside, three balls and a strike. 76 and two-thirds innings pitched for Zach. It's allowed 76 hits and 33 earned runs, striking out 85, walking just 26. His average against is 258. Hard hit ball, line drive to second. Nice play by the second baseman watcher. Reed didn't uh, stray that far from second, so there was no double play opportunity. That'll bring up Jason Moore batting in the three slot, the senior catcher. Jason from Fort Myers, Florida, down on the west coast. Went to a hair. It was Sure you did. Estero High School. Two balls and no strikes. Zach checks the runner at second. Turns, delivers, slow. Three balls and a strike. Bottom of the first inning, 2 nothing Pacers. Saints with one out and a runner at scoring position. Dylan Reed singled, stole second. Frankie Martello on deck. And the 3-0 called strike. More taken all the way.
often heard that the 3-0 pitch is probably the best pitch you're going to get to hit all day, but hardly anybody ever swings at it. 3-1 pitch is ball four. So I told you the 3-0 pitch was the best pitch, John. Now batted the third baseman, number 17, Frankie Martello. That brings up Frankie Martello. Frankie from D. Barry, Florida, senior third baseman. Batting 265. First pitch, strike one. No one pitch is low and inside. Count even one ball and one strike. So are we just going to wait to do the other two before they take the third as well? Or are we going to wait to do the third? Little looper toward right. That may drop. In fact, it does. Reed coming to second. Dave's waving him home. Throw goes to second, and Reed scores. So Martello, a single and an RBI. Moore goes to second. That'll bring up Sean Lawler. Junior left fielder batting 305. Pitch is high and inside. Henrietta back next to the nest. You can see the little one sticking his head up. We have Osprey in the right field over top of the uh, light standard. Got him over top of the uh, left standard as well, but I don't see anybody on the nest today. They may not have little ones up there. And we're going to have a little chat on the mound. All right, the conversation is over. <laughs> so now three balls and no strike. And a 3-0 pitch. Steerike one. Lawler taking the old way there. Lawler from Boca Raton, Florida. And a 3-1 pitch. Called strike two. All are batting 305. Connor Lespina on deck. Two on, one out, one across for the Saints here in the bottom of the first. It's a 2 1 ball game at the moment. That pitch is fouled off. 
into the yeah into the parking lot. Probably a third of the parking lot is in the uh, landing zone for foul balls here. Once again, the payoff pitch. It was outside. Did he swing? Are they going to appeal? No, they're not. He walks. Bases loaded. And that'll bring up Connor Lespina. Sean Lawler takes the first pitch, strike one. Excuse me, Connor Laspina takes the first pitch. Sophomore right fielder batting 242. Lawler's at first. Martello at second. Moore at third. Pitch low and away, and it's 0 and 2. One out, bases loaded. Steven DePulia on deck. Fouled off first base side. A couple of players down in the uh, Saints bullpen. They're not doing anything. Well, one of them's picking up a foul ball. The 0 2 pitch is a fly ball to left. Awfully high, but not very far. Should tag and run, he is. Here comes Moore to score, and it's tied. Sack fly for Connor Lespina. Now that the shortstop for seven, Steven DePuglia. Steven DePuglia will bat next. Senior shortstop. From Pembroke Pines, Florida, transferred from Western Kentucky University to fly. I mean, he might have been heading home to Boca and just stopped on the way. <coughs> Pitch is chopped and it's foul. Got a piece of his left foot. Stevie, one of 13 seniors on this Saints team. And the 0-1 pitch is inside. Count even at one. Elliot Schubert on deck. Zach refuse on the mound. Giving up just two hits, but two runs have scored. We are in the first, and we're tied it to a piece. The one-two pitch outside. Two balls, two strikes. Now we've got a bunch of twos up there. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two-two the score. What, it wasn't for that four hits that the Pacers have. It'd be all twos. I don't know what that is. That's, that's too many cards is what it is. You get in trouble for that. 
Again, the 2-2 pitch fouled off. The old baseball adage, the more pitches you see, the better chance you have of getting a base hit. And the pitch swings and misses. Going to be a, well, the, well, it's going to be an out. what it's going to be. That retires the side, but two-run score in the bottom of the first. And after two complete, we're tied at two. Excuse me, one complete, we're tied at two. I'll get it straight. It's early. This is Peach Bell Conference Baseball. Top of the second inning, we are tied at two runs apiece. Alex Mills, the junior first baseman, will start things off for the Pacers here in the top of the second. First pitch, strike one from Blair Calvo. Mills batting 265, swings at the pitch, and it got the umpire. Can hit him right on his foot. Mills fr from Aiken, South Carolina. O2, a one hopper to Martello, it's foul. Four players from Aiken on the Aiken team. O2 count on Mills. Sean McQuillan on deck. Struck him out. Struck out number four for Blair Calvo. In fact, he struck out the last three now. Aiken scored two runs in the top of the first, but Calvo struck out the side. Little Bunt their attempt. Sean McQuillan, the sophomore right fielder in the nine slot today. Batting 315. Swings at the pitch. Two, three hops to Anderson. He steps on first, and there's two away. Now that the left fielder, number 10, Jackson Hannon. Back to the top of the order, Jackson Hannon. 
will step in with two outs and no runners on. We're in the top of the second. Two, ball, two runs apiece. First pitch from Blair Calvo is strike one. Hannon singled and scored in the first. You like to get your leadoff guy up twice in the first two innings. This is chopped right back to Calvo. He feels on one big hop, throws the first, and the side is retired. A three up and three down inning for Blair this time. Top of the second is complete. We're still tied at two. This is Peach Bell Conference Tournament Baseball. Bottom of the second inning, we're tied at two runs apiece. The Pacers and the Saints. Elliot Schubert will lead it off here in the bottom of the second for the Saints. Both these teams won last night. This is pool play, so each team in each pool will get three games, and then whoever wins the pool plays the final on Sunday morning. Is it morning or one? What time do they play? One. Oh, one o'clock. So then it's not morning. <laughs> Wrong again. That hit him. Schubert got hit last night to keep a rally going. That'll bring up Austin Davis. Throw down as the runner breaks. He's safe at second. A stolen base. Second stolen base of the day for the Saints. Reed stole first or stole second in the first. Now Schubert, who's singled to start off the second, also a stolen base. Different guys, but kind of a deja vu all over again thing. A one pitch is low. One ball and one strike. Lyson ring, the catcher, tried to frame or did frame that pitch. Looked like a good one. We have a terrible angle for calling balls and strikes, but I like to do it anyway. Pitch is fouled off, and I'm, and I'm not even good at that. One ball and two strikes. I got no. I can, I can see it, but I'm you know I'm. Don't look at the angle we have. It's terrible. But like every fan in the ballpark, I can, I can get them wrong as to get as wrong as they can. The one-two pitch is low.
2-2 pitch. Two hopper to the first baseman, Mills. He takes it unassisted. There's one away. The runner advances. Schubert advances from second to third. Now batting up to center fielder number 22, Dylan Reed. If he'd have been button, that would have been a sacrifice and no at bat. But because he swung, another thing about baseball that may not make a lot of sense. They got a lot of rules, stats, things like that. You just kind of got to go with it. Yeah, I've, I've got one thing that really bugs me. Wild pitch and a and a pass ball is not an error when a runner advances, and it ought to be. I'm changing that as soon as I'm in charge, I promise. <laughs> 1-0, the count 1-0 to Dylan Reed. Excuse me, Austin Davis. No, Dylan Reed. They bat from the same side of the plate. The, yeah. the, the number thing should have given it away, though. The, they we have different numbers. I'm not used to doing games at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm used to drinking my third cup of coffee at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's that's in my book of excuses, by the way. There's a thousand of them. It's a thousand entries in that book. Too hot for coffee. It's too hot for coffee. That's a good one. I like that. Not my fault. I, oh, there you go. See, some 2-0 pitches low. We need to get uh, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks as a as a sponsor for all morning games. Get them down here with one of those bre breweristas. What do they call them? Baristas. Excuse me. So as often I go in there, <laughs> paying five bucks for a cup of coffee, just kind of. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Walked him. Reed on base for the second time in this game. We got runners at the corners with one out. Now batting the first baseman, number nine, Aaron Anderson. Got to bring up Aaron Anderson. Aaron, a team high Aaron set. Aaron a switch hitter. Throw over to first. Hold the runner at first. Schubert a short lead at third. A lot of throws to first in uh, in college baseball. You don't see a lot in the pros because things can go wrong. And they figure they can get the guy out at the plate. Pitch is low. Nice job by Leisenring keeping that in front of him. That was another throw to first. I, I'm going to just quit mentioning it. They don't count his pitches, but it's uh, really should should go in his pitch count. Yeah. Well, no, that's a stat thing. I'm, I'm not really big on those, <laughs> except the run scored. That's it's pretty important. Runner breaks for second. A little hesitation by the catcher. The throw was just kind of down there. They expected the runner at third, Schubert, to break for home. He did not. So Reed is second stolen base of the game. <coughs> Lysenring came out from behind the plate, checked the runner at third, and then kind of lobbed it down to second. Probably should have just held on to the ball, saved everybody a, an extra motion. Didn't seem to be real serious about getting Reed out. Two runners in scoring position for the Saints with one out. 1-1 one, one count. Ground ball pulled foul first base. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Both these teams have on dark colored shirts. This is a team for this is a day for an all white uniform, really. At least there's a bit of a breeze blowing in from right field. Fly ball, heading for center field. Let's see if he tags from third. Schubert does. And a throw to third. He's safe. He's under the tag. Reed tagged, and so did Schubert. Schubert scored. Reed slid under the tag at third. There's two away, an RBI by Anderson, and it's 3 2 Saints. Now that the catcher number 30, Jason Moore. And that'll bring up Jason Moore, who walked and scored in the first inning. Throw to third on that play. Reed, it was close, but Reed got under the tag. McQuillan, nice throw, right on line. Yeah, yeah. Well, in this case, though, it was close. It wasn't like the movie. <laughs> I bet you I've seen Major League at parts of it probably at least a dozen times. <coughs> one ball and one strike, two more. Takes a big cut, fouls it off. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and Reed at third. Saints have scored a run here in the bottom of the second to take a 3 2 lead. Toward right. And right at McQuillan, who makes the catch. So a runner stranded, but one run scores here in the bottom of the second. And after two innings, it's 3-2 Saints. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. Top of inning number three, it's 3-2 three Saints at the moment. Chandler Rogers, the shortstop at the plate. First pitch, strike one from player Calvo. Rogers singled and scored in the first inning. It's a ground ball toward third. Martello Fields throws the first, and there's one away. Luke Lysenring will bat next, the catcher. Luke struck out in his first at bat. 
Aiken scored two runs in the first. The Saints scored two runs in the first. The Saints added a run in the bottom of the second, and we are in the top of the third. First pitch. And that's strike one. So one ball and one strike to Lysen Ring. Big cut. One two pitch misses inside, two balls and two strikes. Connor Durden on deck. Two two pitch. Call strike three. That is strikeout number five for Blair Calvo. Yeah, that, Connor Durden, one of four batters to single in the first inning. They had four singles and three strikeouts in the first. The Pacers did. Did that every inning, you'd have about 18 runs at the end of the game. Notice that quick math right there, just figured that out. First pitch, strike one. Pitch low and inside. Count two and one now. Three balls in a strike. Puts that one in play. Schubert Fields in the outfield, throws the first. Nice play by Elliott. Side is retired. No run score in the top of the third. And after two and a half, it's 3-2 Saints. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball from St. Augustine, Florida. Bottom of inning three, Saints with a one-run lead at 3-2. And Martello just got hit in the head, and he is down.
So Martello is up. And from the looks of that, he will be replaced in a moment by a pinch runner. And we will not know what the injury is or the extent of it because they're not supposed to tell us because the NC2A keeps injury and medical problems to the families, the trainers, and the medical staff. Having had that happen a couple of times, I can tell you it, I don't care how much it got you, <clears throat> it's not fun. It's going to be a minute as they decide who's going to be the pinch runner and they make the substitution. Unless they're going to bring him back. He, hey, they, it's very possible they could bring him back out. I just had that really not good sound. His mom standing right by the uh, fence there. And dad's, I think that's his dad, up in the stand right, kind of right behind her. Yeah. Whew, give me chills. <clears throat> Talked to his mom and dad many times this year. I, I'm, I don't think they missed a game. They might have missed one midweek game, but I don't think they missed any weekend games for the last couple of years. And uh, Oh yeah, they, yeah. Well, if there was blood, then there, there. I don't know what it was. They're cleaning up something on the field. It could be. You know, sometimes I should just stop talking. This is one of them. Jacoby Dasher loosening up, running down the right field line. Apparently, he will be the pinch runner. Martello, one of the 13 graduating seniors. Again, graduated again. I, I, yeah, I realize that. He had, a, he had a year of eligibility, so he took some extra classes, and he played his – played an, he had two senior years, basically. I had, I had three sophomore years. what if I'd had the chance I'd have stayed in college till like now that real world out there that that gets kind of shaky once in a while no offense guys <laughs> yeah, I forgot I got a bunch of college kids okay never mind forget I didn't say that forget I said that hey he even gave us the number the home plate umpire how about that huh not only did he signal pinch runner, he gave us the number. Good for him. Your attention please, now pinch running at first, number three, Jacoby Dasher. <laughs> Jacoby Dasher will be the pinch, or is the pinch runner, excuse me, as he's been announced. Sean Lawler will bat next. Couple extra pitches for the pitcher because of the delay. And Sean Lawler will step into the left-hand batter's box. He walked in the first inning.
First pitch outside ball one. Well, we've got players in both bullpens, nobody throwing. The way the tournaments are always set up, it's you can't let a game get out of hand, so a lot of times you get relief pitchers in in a hurry. Right now, these two pitchers are pitching well. Just two hits for the Saints, four for the Pacers. A lot of throwing to first. Saints have two stolen bases. No, they don't. They have three. Reed has stolen twice. And Schubert has a stolen base and a run scored. 1-0 pitch is low and inside. Another throw to first. There goes the Osprey. Well, it's coming back into the nest on uh, left center field. That's uh, we have two pairs. That was a one hopper to first. Now there's there's the reason you don't want to throw to first a lot. But everybody does it. <coughs> 2 0 pitch is called strike one. That gets away, the runner's gonna go to second. Bounds over toward the Pacer dugout. Lizen Ring checks it out, picks it up. Time is called, Dasher's at second. Three one count on Lawler. Connor Lespina on deck. <coughs> Pitch was called strike. Grand, grandstand umpires. Ha well, half of them agree and half disagree, depending on what color shirt they're wearing and hat and all. Full count. Payoff. Walked him. That'll bring up Conrad Lespina, who had a sack by RBI in the first inning. Each team scored two in the first. Saints scored one in the second. We're in the bottom of the third with no outs and two on. Dasher at second. He came in for Martello, who was hit by a pitch. Lawler walked. DiPulio on deck. Lawler showing bunt. Pulls the bat back. It's low. Ball one. Field in at the corners with the bunt shown, and he gets it down, and it's foul, and it's one of one. Yeah. 
One one count. And the pitch is popped up. The bunt attempt is popped up. And there's one away. Now that is shortstop number seven, Stevie DePuglia. That brings up Stevie DePuglia. Stevie is 0 for 1. First pitch outside, ball one. Yeah, that pop up to the pitcher. That could have been, maybe should have been a double play. And we've both seen triple plays out of that. It's the only time a pop up in the infield with runners at first and second and no outs is not an infield flies when a bunt attempt by the batter causes the ball to pop up. 2-0. Duo pitch called a strike. Turned like he was going to offer. He did not. Count two balls and a strike. Pitch is high, three and one. <coughs> Early it's Schubert on deck. Swings, pops it up, going to be in foul territory, but Mills catches it. Two away. Now that is second baseman number 39, Elliot Schubert. That'll bring up Elliot Schubert. Walked and stole second in the second inning. First pitch called strike. Had an RBI last night, Schubert did. Also got it hit by a pitch in the ninth inning to keep the rally going. Hard hit ball, base hit. Maybe got another RBI as Dasher comes flying around third. Going to be a play at the plate. One hop, he is out. An excellent play by hand and out there in left field. The field cleanly get behind the ball to make the throw. He did. No run scored in the bottom of the third. It's 3-2 Saints after three complete. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball.
Up the pace is the center fielder number nine, Jody Smithers. Joey Smithers will lead things off for the Pacers. Top of inning number four, it is 3-2 Saints. He takes the first pitch from Blair Calvo, it's low. Pitch inside and it's 2-0. Joey singled in the first inning. Count to one. Over in Platka. First game's going on. It's 1-1. One, one. What inning? Fourth inning? Okay. You can also tune into that. We got broadcast streaming every which way. <coughs> Count two balls and two strikes. Pitch is grounded toward third. Schubert takes it on three hops, throws the first. He tagged him on the way by. He got tagged on the way by. The home plate umpire now is walking out toward the first base looking. He says no. He says he didn't tag him. E5. So that's an E5 on Schubert, but. Okay, never mind. Umpires are going to be right. It doesn't matter how much Dave wants to talk to him, but he got tagged on the back before he got to the bag. Home plate umpire came halfway down the line, shaking his head. So now all three umpires are going to get together, which is what they should do. But I'm surprised that the home plate umpire missed that call. So this will take a moment as they talk it over. So nobody really got a good look at it, so he's safe. We need four umpires next year. No, make it five. We'll have four tomorrow. Okay, well, there you are. We're going to have four tomorrow. That's, uh, no, not going to have down the lines like the, they do in the no. World Series? <laughs> so a runner at first with no outs. As Smithers reaches on an E5. Trey Poluski at the plate. Popped up into the net. Foul ball. Trey struck out his first at bat. He is 0 for 1. Yeah, his foot is down off the base. Pitch outside, one ball and one strike. <laughs> Top of inning number four, it's 3-2 Saints. Runner at first, Anderson holding him on, throw over, no, no play.
One one pitch is fouled off. One two pitch is grounded toward third. Schubert on a hop, throws the first. One away. That'll bring up Philip Watcher. Watcher struck out in the first. Pacers scored two in the first on four singles. Swings to the first pitch and fouls it off. Pitch low and in. Ball one. Calvo delivers on the 1-1. It's high, gets away. That'll advance the runner to third on the wild pitch. Three balls and a strike. That one's popped up. Heading for the, yeah, heading for the park a lot. Two out, line drive to the shortstop. Now batting on first baseman number 32, Alex Mills. That brings up Alex Mills, the junior first baseman. He struck out in his first at bat in the second inning. Jeff Pelkey goes out to talk to his pitcher again. One zero count, two outs, runner at third. Calvo delivers, swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. <laughs> one hopper, Dasher Fields throws the first, and they got him. 
Side is retired, one runner stranded at third, but no run score here in the top of the fourth. After three and a half, it's 3-2 Saints here at Drysdale Field. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. New pitcher coming in for the Pacers. Number 27 in your program. It's Daniel Wiggins, left-hander junior from Evans, Georgia. Wiggins a 465 ERA and a 3-1 and record. This is appearance number 21 for him. Also has a couple of starts and he has one save. Pitched 31 innings, he's allowed 38 hits and 22 runs, 16 of them earned. Struck out 32, walked 10. Average against is 128, no, I'm sorry, 297. So Daniel Wiggins, the new pitcher for the Pacers. Daniel from Evans, Georgia. That's at Lakeside High School there. So Zach Rayfuse goes three innings. He allows four hits and two earned runs. So Austin Davis batting in the nine slot will lead things off here in the bottom of the fourth for the Saints. Austin, a pinch hit walk in the eighth inning last night. And is, he, is the, he is the DH today. Got the start in that role. Grounded out to the first base in his first at bat. And that pitch is a called strike. <laughs> Swing, miss, throw to first, got him. Strike him out, throw him out. Three, two Saints. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Each team scored two in the first. Saints picked up an extra run in the second. Dylan Reed at the plate. Single walk and two stolen bases. A run scored in the first. Off-speed pitch and a nice one. Dropped it in there for a strike. Yeah. 
Wiggins working from the stretch. Delivers outside. Ball and two strikes. Cough sounds much better, John. No, not, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Sounds awful. Do, do, and you don't feel better? Oh, imagine that. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, that's yeah, that's delightful when that happens. John, John's been fighting a uh, cold slash allergy slash flu something for a couple of, about a week and a half now, isn't it? At least a week. Se seems longer. Thought I. This is Saturday, so it's been at least three days. Three balls and two strikes. I think it's Saturday. The pitch. Fouled off. Yeah, like the season's almost over. Sunday will pretty much finish it off. And then we start, what, volleyball in three days or something right there? Starts right back, doesn't it? Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts for Wiggins. That'll bring up Aaron Anderson. Hit a line drive to the second baseman in the first, had a sack fly RBI in the second. First pitch, low inside. Wiggins on in relief here in the bottom of the fourth. That pitch is a called strike and it's one and one. Pretty steady breeze blowing in from center field. Ground ball, foul, third base side. Fouled that one off. Hit the net. Count one and two. Fly ball. First base side. May stay it up. Wind's going to blow it out. Call, strike three. Struck out the side. Wiggins comes on in relief and strikes out three. And no run score, of course, in the bottom of the fourth. It's still 3-2 Flagler after four innings. This is Peach Bell Conference Tournament Baseball.
Top of inning number five, Saints lead at 3-2. Number nine hitter, Sean McQuillan, will lead it off for the Pacers here in inning number five. Blair Calvo, the starter for the Saints on the mound. First pitch, ball one. One ball, one strike now as Calvo from the windup. Pitch was low, 2-1. Now two balls, two strikes with a foul ball. Two pitches high and inside. Full count. Working from the windup. The pitch is fouled off. Payoff pitch, ground ball towards second. Dasher on two hops, field, throws the first. Ooh, Got him. <laughs> McQuillan hustling down the line. Dasher had to wait on that second hop. Made it a close play at first. Good things happen when you hustle in baseball or any sport for that matter. Jackson Hannon at the plate, top of the order for the Pacers. Singled and scored in the first, grounded out in the second. One ball and one strike to Hannon. Now a ball and two strikes. Popped it up, foul ball. That one's popped up. For a moment, Reed lost it as he was waving his arms frantically, but this is one of those times of day when the sun is straight up and on those high fly balls that don't go that deep, it's a challenge to find it occasionally. He did find it, though, and he made the catch for out number two. And Rodgers didn't even get a chance to tell you who he was. Chandler Rodgers got uh, hit right in the number two. That is a breaking ball that got away. Now batting catcher number 16, Luke Leisenring. Got to bring up Luke Leisenring. Batting in the three slot. He is a switch hitter, catcher. Two outs, Anderson holding the runner at first. Pit first pitch outside. Yeah. 
That pitch has popped up and out of play. Two one count on Luke as he steps out. His time is called. Now he's back. Big swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Rogers at first, hit by pitch. The 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled off. In fact, he fouled it off of his left foot. Long day yesterday, and it'll be another long one today for the folks working at the game. Force of habit, the home plate umpire just cleaned the plate off, and there's no dirt out there. He was giving the batter a little chance to shake. Yeah, he fouled it off his left foot, and they gave him a little time to but it, it looked kind of funny, though, when you figure there's no dirt out there to sweep off the plate. Full count. Foul ball. Struck him out. Strikeout number six for Blair Calvo. Side is retired. Saints take a 3-2 lead into the bottom of the fifth. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball from St. Augustine, Florida. Bottom of the fifth inning, and Jason Moore will step in. Daniel Wiggins on the mound, second pitcher of the day for the Pacers. 
First pitch, strike one. Jason will walk in a run scored in the first. He is 0 for 1. Hit a fly ball to right in his second at bat in the second inning, and that's a foul ball, and it's 0 and 2. The 0-2 pitch is lifted into center field, a little toward left center. Smithers makes the catch. One away. That'll bring up Jacoby Dasher. Dasher who went in for Frankie Martello who was hit by a pitch. Swing to the pitch, a couple of bounces to the shortstop. Rogers throws the first. Mills gets the put out, and there's two away. Now then, left fielder number 25, Sean Lawler. That'll bring up Sean Lawler. Wiggins came on in relief. He's gotten the first five batters he's faced, struck out the side in the fourth. Lawler has walked twice in this game. Called strike, one ball and one strike. Two and one now. Three one count. Wiggins, the pitch inside, he walked him. Two out base runner for the Saints. That'll bring up Connor Laspina, who had a sack fly in the first. Popped up a bunt attempt to the pitcher in the third inning. So he is 0 for 1 with the RBI sack fly. Swings to the first pitch and rifles it to the third baseman who couldn't make the play. Turns, throws to first, he's safe. What a shot. That was a terrific effort by Poluski to get a glove on that thing. That was a rocket. He did knock it down, but he had to kind of scramble a bit to pick it up and make the throw to first. And Laspina hustling down the line is safe, so runners at first and second on the infield single. And that'll bring up Steven DePuglia. Stevie 0 for 2. Came in batting 3 4, excuse me, 247. Seven doubles and a triple. Swings to the first pitch. The pitcher knocks it down. He's going to throw to first. He does. And the side is retired. Kind of an awkward slide into second there, or trip and slide, or however you want to put it, by Laspina. Slip and slide. There, that's a better way to put it. The carpet gets a little slick once in a while. The hotter it gets, the slicker it gets. 
But the side is retired with no runs scored and after five completed, Saints three and Pacers two. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. This will be top of inning number six. The Saints have a 3-2 lead. Pacers will send up Durden, Smithers, and Poluski. Poluski, excuse me. Blair Calvo on the mound. Starting pitcher for the Saints. First pitch, ball one. Outside. Ball two. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. Durden singled and drove in two runs in the first inning. Count even at two and two. Pitch inside, full count. <coughs> Ground ball towards second. Dasher fields, taps the glove, throws the first. And there's one away. Now batting the center fielder number nine, Joey Smithers. Joey Smithers will step in. Been on base twice, single and then reached on an error. First pitch is low, ball one. Pitch is high and inside. Pitch low and away, and it's three balls and no strikes. Called strike one. Smithers taken all the way. Walked him. Pitch <laughs> 
And we're going to get a pinch hitter. Yes, we have a pinch hitter, number 44 in your program. That is Scott Huntley. He is a freshman from Servina Park, Maryland. Two twenty four average for Scott this year. First pitch is ball one. Calvo now over a hundred pitches. Have had a pitcher right-hander warming up in the Saints bullpen. He throwing easy now. Looks like he's ready to go. Two balls, no strikes. <coughs> Fastball right down Main Street. That's two and one. Count two balls and one strike. Count now 3 1. That pitch is fouled off, left side. <laughs> fouled off, left side again. Count remains, three balls, two strikes. Huntley getting in a lot of swings here in his first plate appearance. Throw over to first. Runner breaks for second, will be no throw down because that was ball four. Back to back walks from Calvo. Now batting second base number one, Philip Watcher. <laughs> that brings up Philip Watcher and there will be a pitching change as coach Dave Barnett heads for the mound. Give you the number when we get a chance. Uh -huh. 
Ryan Ashworth will be the new pitcher, senior from Winter Garden, Florida. Ryan will get a few warm-up tosses on the mound. Why are you going to Orlando? For Tata, no, not Tata, Tata, Tata. Uh-huh. Because I'm not doing anything anyway, you know? I wasn't doing anything. Ashworth, a 3.46 ERA and a 5-2 and two record. This is appearance number 20 for Ryan. He has three starts this season and one save. 52 innings pitched, 52 hits, 20 earned runs, 16 walks, and 42 strikeouts, an average against of 267 for Ashworth. Ashworth due to face Philip Watcher, who is on the on-deck circle, swinging a bat. Watcher is 0 for 2. Strike out and hit a line drive to Dupuli at short. Alex Mills on deck. Well, yeah, he actually is on deck. Watcher's standing out there between home plate and the dugout. Looks like Jimmy John's for lunch today. Got the cookie going. That's good. Eat the pickle first, huh, Sierra? Our producer. Not a pickle guy myself. Been known to eat a few cookies, though, as you can tell by looking at me, I'm sure. So Ashworth, the right-hander, comes on in relief of Calvo, the left-hander. Two runners on base are the responsibility of the starter. Calvo struck out six, allowed four hits and two runs so far. Won't allow any more hits, but uh, we'll see how it happens with the runners on base. There's one out. Ashworth delivers outside, and the count even at one ball and one strike. Pitch low and inside. That was a nice pick by Moore. He had to move to his right and backhand the ball as it was considerably inside to the left-handed batter, Watcher. We're in the top of inning number six. It's a 3-2 Flagler lead at the moment. As Ashworth turns towards second, no play. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Count is full. Pop that one up. I think 
the wind has picked up, which it usually does in the middle of the day here on the coast. Three two pitch has popped up. That's going to go foul and out of play. Left side. Heading for the parking lot. So Watcher and Ashworth in a bit of a duel here on a full count. Ground ball, base hit, right field. Runner heading for home. It's going to be a play at third. No, there's not. And we're tied at three as Smithers comes around to score. And runners at the corners on the RBI single by Watcher. Kept working, kept working, and finally got the base hit in the RBI. Now batting first base number 32, Alex Mills. That'll bring up Alex Mills with Sean McQuillan on deck. Mills 0 for 2, strikeout, ground out. First pitch, strike one. Run number three for the Pacers, accredited to the starter, Calvo. And the runner at third, Huntley, is his responsibility. Pitch low and away. And there is action in the Flagger bullpen, right-hander throwing down there. Nobody throwing in the Pacer bullpen at the moment. One, one. one ball, one strike. This one's popped up. Right center, runner at third will tag. Throw home, no play. And a 4-3 lead for the Pacers as Huntley scores from third. So that'll bring up Sean McQuillan, the right fielder. Quillen is 0 for 2. He's out at second as he tried to steal. The runner tried to steal. And he is out at second. Nice play on both ends, the throw and the tag. And the side is retired. But two runs score in the top of the sixth inning. And after five and a half, it's 4-3 Pacers here at Drisdale Field in beautiful St. Augustine. This is the Peach Belt Tournament for Baseball.
Bottom of inning number six, it's 4-3 Pacers. They scored two runs in the top of the sixth. Elliot Schubert at the plate. One ball, one strike. Schubert walked, stole second, and scored in the second inning. He singled in the third. Pops this one up. Right field side, the second baseman started back. He lost it, but it wasn't even close to him. As it turned out, it didn't really matter whether he saw it as the right fielder, McQuillan, made the play. It's one of those times of day where you look straight up and all you see is the sun. We've got a pinch hitter for the Saints. Franco Camacho, the pinch hitter, junior from West Palm Beach. Franco batting an even 200 this season. <coughs> Had eight starts. It's just his 17th appearance. So he will come in for the D.H. Davis. And bat in the nine slot. Davis was 0 for 2. Big cut on that one, and it's one ball and one strike. Big cut on a pitch, and missed it, and it's one and two. Lifts this one into center field. Smithers makes the play. Only had to move a little bit to his right to do so. And there's two down. Now bat at center fielder number 22, Dylan Reed. So Dylan Reed will bat for the fourth time today. Single walk and a strikeout. Two stolen bases and a run scored. He scored in the first. Saints trail by one. It's 4-3 Pacers. First pitch called strike. Daniel Wiggins on the mound for the Pacers came on in relief of the starter. Zach refused. Wiggins from the stretch, the 1 1 pitch, pops it foul. Another foul ball. Count remains one and two. Aaron Anderson on deck. Two 
Ground ball pulled foul. Pulled that one foul. <coughs> Reed seeing a lot of pitches in this at bat. Count two balls and two strikes now. Four, three in the <coughs> bottom of the sixth inning. Saints trail by one. Ground ball, base hit right field. Two out base runner for the Saints. And I'll bring up Aaron Anderson. So Aaron will turn around and bat from the right side with Wiggins on the mound. Starter Rafuse was a right left hand, excuse me, right hander. That's a base hit. Drops into left field. Reed is flying. He's at third. Dave winding him toward home. And he scores. Tie ball game. RBI number two for Anderson. Had a sack fly in the second for his other RBI. But a run scoring double here in the sixth. Ties it up at four. There's two outs, so a two out rally. Ties it at the moment and Jason Moore will step in. Had to admire Reed's hair there as he was flying around third and the hat came flying off. Being follically challenged myself. I got no party going on anywhere, buddy. I'm about as bar, about as, I don't know how it works. I, Well, in the early 70s, I had hair down to my shoulders, but then again, I grew up in the 60s, and that's just the way it was. I had hair back then, so why not? An intentional walk puts more at first with two outs, and that'll bring up Jacoby Dasher. I'm not sure how much of the press box noise gets on this uh, rec this broadcast, but we are very snug in here with guys working the scoreboard and the PA and Sierra over here doing the video production. Jacoby swings at the first pitch, strike one. Came in as a pinch rudder for Frankie Martello, who was hit by a pitch and left the game. <laughs> Steve Reich, 0 and 2.
Runners at first and second. The 0-2 pitch, pop foul, might stay in play, heading for the wall, and Mills didn't make the play. That was tough. He was about a half a step from the fence when the ball got there, and tough play. So the count remains, no balls, two strikes. Dasher swings, kind of rolls it toward the pitcher. Wiggins fields, throws the first. And the side is retired. Two runs stranded, but one run scores in the bottom of the sixth inning, and the Saints tie it up at four. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. So top of inning number seven, and we're tied at four runs apiece. Ryan Ashworth on the mound, came on in relief of the starter. Bunt, more fields, throws the first. Got him by a half a step, that was close. Nice play by Jason. So McQuillan out at first, and that will bring up Jackson Hannon. Hannon is one for three with a single and a run scored in the first. First pitch, ball one. There is some bright red and or kind of a dark shade of pink people out there right now with the sun blazing like it is. UV index was a 12 on a scale of 1 to 10. It was. <laughs> yeah, the weather advisory was don't go outside. Popped him up. Oh, he lost it in the sun. The wind blew it, and he did catch it. Holy cow, what a catch. That was, I don't see it. I kind of see it. I'm backing up. I think I got it. I'll fall down and make the catch. Yeah, that. Uh, I'm not sure whether that'll be top plays or not top plays, but Laspina made it, and that's what really counts. 
he, he did he did the uh, the old where you throw your hands out I don't see it thing like everybody at the universal I don't know where the ball is One ball and no strikes on Rodgers. Two outs. D. Reich one, two balls and a strike. Two outs, none on. We're tied at four here in the top of the seventh inning. This one's in toward the gap right field. Again, Laspina having to hustle to his right. He does make the play, and the side is retired. A three up and three down inning for Ryan Ashworth. We remain tied at four. It's the middle of the seventh. You can get up and stretch. This is Peach Belt Conference Baseball. So I hope you're sufficiently stretched. You're not going to get another chance till this one's over. We're tied at four, bottom of the seventh inning. Sean Lawler at the plate for the Saints. Sean is 0 for the game. He walked, walked, and walked. Does not have an official at bat. He's been on base three times. First pitch, ball one. Connor Lespino on deck. Stevie DePuglia scheduled to bat third. Pitch high, 2-0. and oh. There's a pitch up and in. <laughs> There's a called strike, three and one. Had a feeling he wasn't going to swing at that no matter what. Called strike two.
full count. Wiggins has been working from the stretch since he came in in relief. The pitch. Swung at it, fouled it off. Heading for, heading for the parking lot. Lauder gets seen a lot of pitches in his at bat. Got him. That was a breaking ball that really didn't break at all. No, he's on base. He's on base four times. He's yet to have an official at bat. Three walks and a hit by pitch. Got a slow walk to the mound. We'll see if there's going to be a pitching change. That may be the, uh, yeah, the dugouts out to uh, congratulate their pitcher, Wiggins. Standing on the mound, I uh, don't know if he's going to get pulled or not. Maybe he can talk his way out of it. No, he can't. He's gone. We think it's 35. Let's check and make sure. And we're wrong. It's 39, Austin Sandifer. Austin, a freshman. Right-hand pitcher from Cope, South Carolina. Edesto High School there. So the right-hander will get a few more tosses before uh, he faces Connor Lespina. This is the 24th appearance for Austin. He has a 160 ERA, a 4-0 record. He has one save. He's pitched 28 in the third innings. He's allowed 17 hits. He's allowed five earned runs. Struck out 16, walked two, average against... 165, good numbers for Austin Sandifer, the new pitcher for the Pacers. We're tied at four. This is the bottom of the seventh inning. Over in Palatka, they're tied at 2-2, you say? In the bottom of the eighth inning. Georgia Southwestern and who over there? Georgia College. Georgia Southwestern and Georgia College. So after a bit of delay there for Connor Lespina, he steps in with a runner at first and no outs. Sandifer starts off with a throw to first. <coughs> Another throw to first. It'd be cool if like four or five throws to first and then they replaced him. Wouldn't it be cool? I've, I've seen that happen. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, as many games as you've seen, you probably have seen that happen. I've seen, I don't know, I probably have too, but I don't, it doesn't, don't recall it. Dropped it down, bunt. It's going to advance the runner, plays it first. That's successful, a sack bunt by Laspina.
That'll bring up Elliot Schubert. Nope, Steve, I'm sorry, Stevie DePuglia. You got me, Brandon. Sorry, buddy. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's... Stevie is 0 for 3 today. First pitch inside, call to strike. And he loops one into right field. That's a base hit. Dave holding the runner at third. We're going to have runners at the corners. So Elliot Schubert will step in with Camacho on deck. Franco came in as a pinch hitter for Davis last time around. One out, runners at the corners, 4-4 four, four the score. Wasn't there a four score and some seven year ago thing sometime? I don't remember what that was about. That one's pulled foul. Go <laughs> one pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. See Columbus State in the house. Got next game. Starting start next two games. Oh, starting on year number 44. <laughs> seems like what well, it seems yeah, at this point. It seems like year 45. One pitch, whoo, line drive, foul ball, right side. One ball and two strikes. Runners at the corners, one out. Game tied at four. Throw to first, ball gets away, runner breaks from third, and the Saints are up 5-4. That is an E1 on the throw to first. Lawler scores, the Puglia goes to second. One-two pitch, hits him. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's called back. No, he was worse than that. He was called out. Yeah, 
That's strike three. That's strike three. This is one of those rules that I find curious. He was in the batter's box. He did not lean into the ball, but he also did not make an attempt to get out of the way. And at the discretion of the umpire, which he has, he was called out. So Schubert hit by a pitch and strikes out at the same time. Uh, here, the grandstand umpires do not agree with the call. I never was sure why you had to get out of the way of a pitch that wasn't a strike. Pitch fouled off into the net. Well, you know, it didn't used to be. That that rule is a fairly modern rule. It used to be it didn't matter. Unless you were in the strike zone and got hit, that was a strike. Yeah, okay. There you go. So, yeah. That's a, it's a fairly modern rule, uh, it, but it is at the, well, it's at the discretion of the home plate umpire. So, swing and a miss. Uh, yeah, I don't get a problem. I have no problem with get, if get, you know, it's a strike if he's in the strike zone. But when you're standing in your own batter's box, you make no attempt to lean into the ball nor get out of the way. I'm, I've just found it curious that that's called a strike. But what do I know? 0 oh and 2 the count. Ground ball towards short. Rogers throws the first. He got him. And the side is retired. So, no, uh, excuse me, one run scores in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Saints have a 5-4 lead after seven. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball. Top of inning number eight, the Saints have taken a 5-4 lead after the run scored in the bottom of the seventh. <coughs> Pacers have five hits, Saints have seven, each team with one error. Ryan Ashworth on the mound, came on in relief of the starter, Blair Calvo. One one count, base, whoa, right back up the middle. That uh, 
That almost got a piece of Ashworth as a shot right behind him. That's a leadoff single. So Lysen ring at first with the single. And Durden steps in. Connor Durden is the DH, batting in the four slot. Single in the first inning, drove in two runs. Grounded out in the third and the sixth inning. He's one for three with the two RBIs. Takes the first pitch, an off-speed pitch for strike one. Another off-speed pitch. This one misses low and away, and it's one and one. Count a ball and two strikes. Did he offer? Uh, yes, he did. Or it was called a strike, and either way, there's one away. That'll bring up Joey Smithers with one out and one on. Smithers a single, reached on an error, walked and scored. He scored in the sixth inning. One out and one on for the Pacers here in the top of the eighth. Breaking balls called strike. Pitch low and away. Nice breeze blowing in from center. This is the first game of four today. Ed reached out and popped this one up. It's going to be shallow. Both outfielders are hustling. It's going to drop for a base hit. And the runner's safe at second. Leisering was hung up. He had to wait for the ball to drop. He was halfway. Well, actually, he was closer to second. And he was able to slide in ahead of the throw from Laspina. So one out and two on as Smithers accredited a single. Huntley steps in, pinch hitter. Excuse me, he pinch hit his last at bat. Walked and scored in the sixth. One oh pitch is popped up, hits the net. Ball and two strikes now. One, two pitch right back up the middle. Right through into center field. Play at the plate, slide and safe. 
Lizerine comes around and scores, and we are tied at five. So Huntley comes through with an RBI single. Smithers is at second. And that brings up Philip Watcher. Owen two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two away. That'll bring up Alex Mills, the first baseman. Sack fly in his last at bat. He's 0 for 2 with the RBI sack fly. And he swings this one into left field. He put a good charge in it. Looks like it's over the head. It bounces off the wall. Lawler couldn't get to that one. That scores one. There may be a play at the plate. The dive, he is safe at plate. Home plate umpire right on top of the play. So time is called. Runner at second. Two runs come across on the double to center, or excuse me, left. So Mills now has driven in three, and it's 7-5 Pacers here in the top of the eighth. And we are going to get a pitching change as Dave makes the slow walk to the mound for the Saints. Nick Martinez is the new pitcher for the Saints. <laughs> Martinez, a senior from Davie, Florida, went to Nova High School down there. Nick has a 260 ERA, a 2 0 record. This is appearance number 20 on the season for Martinez. All his appearances have been in relief. He has six saves. Pitched 27 and two thirds. He's allowed 20 hits and just eight earned runs. Struck out 23, walked 12, average against 200 for Nick Martinez, the new pitcher, third pitcher of the day for the Saints. So the new pitcher, Nick Martinez, to face Sean McQuillan. First pitch is ball one. Ball two.
Two balls and two strikes now with two outs. Still 2-2 over in Palatka, Georgia Southwestern and Georgia College. <coughs> Top of the ninth inning. Over there. Top of the eighth here as the Pacers have scored three to take a 7-5 lead. And McQuillan draws the walk. Now battle by fielder number 10, Jackson Hannon. Sunday is Mother's Day, so don't forget to get out there and get those Mother's Day presents before it's too late. As a form of penance, I usually tell my mother's my worst of all possible Mother's Day stories sometime during Mother's Day weekend so that no one has to repeat that Oh, oh no, worse than that, worse than forgot. When my first uh, firstborn was born, uh, well, came Mother's Day about three months later, and we went to my mom's house. I had a gift for her, and my mom said to me, what did you get for your wife for Mother's Day? And I said, nothing, she's not my mother, and my mom punched me. <laughs> Pass ball, both runners advance. I, let me rephrase that, wild pitch. So for anyone out there who doesn't think they should buy their wife a Mother's Day present, even though it's not their mother, <laughs> you should reconsider that ridiculously stupid thing and not have to uh, put up with, so far, 48 years of being reminded every Mother's Day. I'm sorry, 45 years. We've been married 48. And, <laughs> and we're still married after that. I'm surprised we made it to four now that I think about it. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, two outs. I feel better after I tell that story, even though I really shouldn't feel better. 2-2 two -two pitch. Right back up the middle. It hits the glove of the pitcher, Martinez, and that's a base hit and a run scored. Maybe two. Play at the plate. A hustle run right there. As McQuillan comes all the way around and scores. That is a two-run infield single, or two-run RBI on an infield single by Hannon. Pacers have now scored five here in the top of the eighth. Still two outs, runner at first. That is a base hit up the middle. Single puts runners at first and second. And now the discussion as to whether or not they have batted, batted around because Rogers will, Rogers has. Lizenring will step in. He is the 10th batter of the inning. So now they have batted around. Some folks say nine is a bat around but 10 is definitely batting around. Ground ball towards second, Dasher smothers it, throws it to DePuglia covering the bag, the fielder's choice ends the inning. Five run score in the top of the eighth inning, it's 9-5 Pacers after seven and a half. This is Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball.
Bottom of the eighth inning. And Austin Dillon will bat for the fifth time in this game. One ball, no strikes. That's a base hit center field for Austin Dillon. Hey, he's on base for the fourth time. A couple of singles, a walk. Make that three singles in a walk. The first baseman, Aaron Anderson. Got to bring up Aaron Anderson. When the bottom of the eighth, it's 9-5 Pacers. The Pacers scored five in the top of the eighth to take the lead. Each team scored two in the first. Saints scored one in the second. Sixth inning, it was two for the Pacers, one for the Saints. Saints scored an additional run in the seventh, and then five for the Pacers in the top of the eighth. This pitch is heading for left field for the bullpen. It lands right in front of the catcher. It didn't miss him by more than a foot or two. Got somebody warming up down there, and the catcher never flinched. Good for him. Yeah, his padding's on the front, though. <laughs> and that's the reason they wear a helmet in the bullpen if you're catching. <laughs> you don't get conked by a foul ball. Count no balls, one strike to Aaron Anderson. Aaron has two runs batted in. He has a sack fly and an RBI double. He is one for three. Pops this one up. Drifts out into right field. Watcher calls for it and catches it one away. That'll bring up Jason Moore. Jason has walked twice, scored once. He is 0 for 2 with a couple of fly balls, one to center, one to right. Pitch low and inside. What time's the uh, second game scheduled for? Twenty minutes from now. Twenty minutes from now? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest it's not gonna get off on time. Shocking. All right. <laughs> and that's tournament baseball. <laughs> one ball and one strike. One one pitch is drilled toward left, toward the gap, but Hannon makes the play. Two outs. And we're gonna get a pinch hitter, Jimmy Peck. Now pinch hitting for the Saints, number 24, Jimmy Peck. So Peck will pinch hit for Dasher. So I imagine Jimmy, who is a catcher, will probably not play second base. But I've been wrong before, so we do have guys warming up in both bullpens. Wouldn't be surprised to see a pitch and change either. (laughs) 
Both these teams got good performances from their starting pitchers yesterday. Robert Greed just pitched a complete game for the Saints, and I believe the starter for the Pacers went eight innings. Not so much today. Ground ball toward second. Nice play by Watcher as he stayed with it. Makes the play, and the side is retired. No run score in the bottom of the eighth. Going into the ninth inning with a 9-5 Pacer lead. This is Peach Bell Conference Baseball Tournament. We have a defensive replacement playing second base, Kenneth Gordon for the Saints. At the plate is Connor Durden, the DH. Two balls and no strikes to Durden. Nick Martinez on the mound. Third pitcher of the day for the Saints. Pitch is a called strike. Three one pitch has popped up. Left field. Drifting toward the fence. And it's in the bullpen. And Lawler just crashed into the fence. Hey, he was slowing down when he hit it. Ribs are a lot more flexible when you're that age, you know, they kind of still got a little flex to them. Full count. Foul ball and the count remains three balls and two strikes. Ball fouled straight back. Payoff, fly ball, left field. And for a moment, it looked like Laspina threw his hands up, looking for the ball, and he found it and made the play. 
And there's one out. High sky today. It's kind of a little bit of a light cloud cover. And again, the sun is pretty much straight up at this point. At 1.15 in the afternoon. Joey Smithers at the plate. Two singles, a walk, reached on an error, scored twice. Scored in the sixth and the eighth inning. Pacers a big five-run eighth inning, which has given them a 9-5 lead. Over in Palatka, Georgia Southwestern has an 8-2 lead in the top of the ninth. <coughs> Playing Georgia College. Fly ball, left field. Nice running catch by Laspina on the warning track. Now that third baseman for the first four, Scott Huntley. That'll bring up Scott Huntley. Came in as a pinch hitter in the sixth, walked and scored. Also scored in the eighth and drove in a run with a single. First pitch, strike one. Oh, one pitch is outside. One one pitch outside, two and one. Philip Watcher on deck. Two one pitch called strike two. Two two pitches fouled off. That's blocked over time stand still. <laughs> Swing and a miss, struck him out, and the side is retired. No run score in the top of the ninth. The Saints will come to bat needing four to tie and five to finish this one happy. Until then, it is still Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball from beautiful St. Augustine, Florida.
So bottom of the ninth inning, the Saints need four to tie, five to win. And Sean Lawler will start things off. Lawler uh, hit by a pitch. He's been on base four times and does not have an official at bat. Walked in the first, walked in the third, walked in the fifth, hit by a pitch in the seventh, scored a run. At the time, that gave the Saints a 5-4 lead. Big cut. Lespina and DePulia scheduled the bat. Swing and a miss. Ball and two strikes. The pitch is high. 2-2 two -two count. Fouls that one straight back. And Sanderfer on the mound, third pitcher of the day for the Pacers. Full count. Half the people here liked that call and half didn't. The payoff. Base hit left field. So Lawler on base for the fifth time today with one official at bat. He's one for one. That'll bring up Connor Lespina. Connor Lespina, a sack fly RBI in the first. Popped up a bunt attempt in the third, singled in the fifth, and a sack bunt in the seventh. So he is officially one for two. And he swings at this one, rolls it to third, a five, safe at first. So that turns into a fielder's choice. I was about ready to call a double play. Now that in third base, number 39, Elliot. Steven DePulia will step in. Runner at first with one out. Stevie shows bunt, drops it foul. The Puglia one for four. He singled his last time up. Now that is shortstop number seven, Steven <laughs> the P I've never seen the PA guy get a hand like that. That's a, that was excellent. And you got finally got it right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember that. It's well, it took was well, two games before they came up and told you the right pronunciation, wasn't it? Right, that's what I meant. Yeah. Popped up, foul. It was a 45-minute half inning over in Palatka. That's a marathon, indeed. Got an 0-2 count on the Puglia as he steps back in. 
We got all kinds of info and video stuff flying around over here. And the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball toward third. To second, another fielder's choice. Two away. So two away, runner at first, Elliot Schubert at the plate. Took a cut at a low inside pitch, he missed it, strike one. Pitch is outside, so it's two balls and a strike. <coughs> no, it's not. No, I, that was, I'm wrong. It's one one. Chops that one toward third, took a funny hop. Nice play. As the third baseman closed on that and closed the game. So this one's in the books. And the Pacers win it 9-5. to five. Nine runs, 11 hits, and an error for USC Aiken. And for the Saints, five runs on nine hits with one error. So this is game number one today. Both these teams will play one more time today. But each of these teams, let's see, the Pacers are now 2-0, and oh, and the Saints are 1-1 one one in pool play. Game number two should start in about a half hour. Do we close out and start over, or do we? So you're going to have to dial back in if you want to see that one. But it's been my pleasure to bring you game number one. I'll be back for game number three when the Saints play again. This Peach Belt Conference Tournament Baseball, be sure and check the schedule for the games at Palatka and the rest of the games here today. It's Bill Topping saying thanks and good afternoon.